So my husband came in with me. We had to get our stuff for the Super Bowl. And now I'm doing my second Dollar Tree dinner and I have an idea, I'm gonna do shrimp tacos. So here we go. All right, heading into Dollar Tree to do my second Dollar Tree dinner on a budget. So I'm heading right back to the freezer aisle. I have two Dollar Trees, like I told you guys before. I'm gonna check this one first. I'm going back to the freezer to see if they have the peppers and the shrimp. Cause if they don't, I'm gonna have to head to the other one because that's kind of what I'm doing for dinner. So I picked up two bags of shrimp. So it's a hundred shrimp and then four egg rolls. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the insides out of these because there should be some mini shrimps. I'm gonna see if I can find canned shrimp. So I have three different kinds of shrimp to put in the tacos. I'm gonna use the veggies as like a slaw. So I'm gonna look for mango, uh, frozen mango, and like a chipotle sauce to go in the tacos. And I know they have the shells because me and Izzy were just here and she grabbed some shells for her to make dinner. So I need to find like a chipotle sauce or maybe even, um, uh, um, see hot sauce. I don't see like a chipotle pepper sauce. Oh, I got minced. I already got the garlic. There's chili seasoning. I need like a chipotle seasoning I could mix with sour cream or mayonnaise. Let me see here. Let's just keep going. Maybe I'll find something down here. I'm going to get black beans to put in it. Okay, so here are the shells. Izzy grabbed some of these when we went to do our haul and she whipped up some stuff with them. So I'm gonna get two of these. There we go. And I learned from the last one to not get so much. So I'm gonna make sure I don't get so much this time. Okay, let's see. I'm looking for a chipotle sauce. I wonder if I have to go to the other one. Let me see. So I found these diced mangoes, but I would like to see if they have frozen fruit in the back. And then here is my black beans. I grabbed two of those. Um, I think I don't know if I have refried beans. I'm not gonna do refried beans. So let's go in the back and see if they have uh, frozen fruit. Cause if they do, I'll get the frozen mangoes to make my mango chipotle like slaw. But if they don't, I'm gonna have to come back and get those. All right, let's see here. I really need to find some kind of uh, oh, frozen fruit. The other one had frozen fruit. Do you guys see frozen fruit? Oh, tropical blend right there, yes. All right, so I need some more rice. What happened to the rice? Uh, did I pass it? Oh, there it is right there. Okay, so I'm gonna get another thing of jasmine rice because I'm gonna make a mango like tropical. I have cilantro seasoning. There's refried beans too, okay. So that, I found it, it's papaya pineapple mango. That's gonna be really good on the tacos. I'm super excited about this recipe. So I was hoping to find some of those little shrimps in the can. I have some at home, but I wanna do just Dollar Tree stuff. They have tuna fish and they have clams and mackerels, but no little shrimp. So I might go take a look at the other one because I really do wanna get those peppers. And I'm still trying to find a spice, like a chipotle top Hawaiian type spice to put on the tacos because I want to make like a sauce, some kind of sauce. So I'll probably need some, um, how am I going to make a sauce? I was hoping to buy a sauce, but these are not, you know, I don't know what this is, but I don't know. I just, oh, here, look at this. It's a jerk sauce, Jamaican jerk. That will work. Oh, look at that. It was kind of hid. And I think this Thai sauce is kind of, I bet you if I mix the two of them, maybe, Here's a hot pepper sauce, but I think this will work right here. I'll mix it with the, the slaw that I have in the egg rolls and with, um, or maybe I'll just mix it. Oh, I really want to do like a, like a, a white chipotle type sauce. I wonder if I mixed it with mayonnaise. I wonder what that would be like. I'm going to have to check out the other store. There's a sriracha sauce. Okay, I'm gonna get this. This will go with my tacos, Jamaican jerk. Sweet, sweet. So I'm trying to find a seasoning that goes with the chipotle. I like the Jamaican jerk. They have a, a citrus garlic would be good. Maybe to put over the chicken or the shrimp when I'm cooking them. Um, sugar, cinnamon, chipotle, cayenne. You know, I think I'm gonna get two of these. I think this will be good. 
to put in with the shrimp. I'm gonna have garlic with the shrimp, All right? And I got my Jamaican jerk. Maybe I'll put some of that in there too. And maybe I can make a sauce, like add a little flour and make a thick sauce. Ooh, the wheels are turning. I bought two of these coconut milks when I was here last and I have one left. I could use this and mix it with those to create the sauce. I'm not gonna need this because I already have one. Great idea. Okay, I think I'm set, you guys. I think I have everything. My shrimp, my shrimp egg rolls because I want to take the insides out. Citrus seasoning, jerk sauce, the shells, rice, mangoes, and black beans. Sweet. All right, so I spent $33. Um, the fruit and the shrimps were $3 each. And so I just have to run down to the other Dollar Tree because um, they had no peppers and I want peppers in it. So now I'm going to head down and look. So I'm down at the other one, just looking for peppers. And my husband wanted me to pick up numbers because we have a chili cook-off every year I'm in charge of. And I do like prizes and stuff for, for second and third. And he made a podium for them to stand on. So I have to grab numbers for the podium that he built and painted. All right. You know, I think the store might be bigger. I think this is bigger than the other one. Cause this is way longer aisles. They have way more food here. Okay, hopefully they have my peppers. Darn it, they have asparagus though. That's a great idea. They definitely have way less here, but I got asparagus. This is gonna be perfect with the shrimp. I love it so much. Now I just gotta find, I just wanna see if they might have happen to have chipotle sauce. They only have one of those Jamaican jerks over there. Yeah, this one has a lot of stuff and it's a lot more room. Pineapple mustard? No, no. That's a great idea. But I, no. Ooh, I don't know, that's a great idea. Pineapple mustard, pear mustard. It looks like about the same seasonings here. Let's go down and see. No, they're doing a good job here. I'd have to say this is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Hmm, okay. Yeah, look at they're trying to be all organized. Maybe they don't want to be shut down. They want to keep both open. I wonder if they're both owners. Okay, so I think I'm going to get this pear mustard. That's a great idea because I'm trying to make a sauce. And to go with what I got at the other place. I really wish they had a chipotle sauce. I'd really save me a lot of trouble. But Okay, sweet. All right, cool. Let's just take a fast swipe and see if there's anything cheese sauce that's good to know I gotta look at some stuff for my next one let's see if they happen to have canned shrimp here no but they have chicken in the packets that's a good idea like maybe for my pizzas I'm gonna make we have mussels you know I'd say they kind of they're doing good here look how beautiful this all is do they have the pears Ooh, Noah loved the pears, and I haven't seen them since we got them last time. All right, cool. Now I have to go back and get numbers for my husband. Okay, haul's official, so now $35. Even. So here's everything I need to make these um, shrimp tacos. So I got shrimp egg rolls. I'm just going to use the insides of them because I want, like, the veggies. I got shrimp, rice, my corn tortillas. This is the coconut milk I had gotten two last week. I'm gonna use one because I think I'm gonna do a like mango coconut milk rice, I think. And then I have black beans for some more protein in the tacos. Um, I had, oh gosh, I had my garlic um, left over from last week. And then I found this Jamaican jerk sauce, my citrus, citrus garlic seasonings. I didn't find the peppers, but I did find asparagus. And there is my tropical blend frozen fruit. So. Here's everything I need to put the um, tacos together. And I'm also gonna make them and then bake them in the oven. Oh, and I also have the cilantro. So I gotta go grab the cilantro that I had picked up on my last haul to sprinkle on top. All right, now it's time to get cooking. I've already um, cooked my rice. It's just sitting. I'm going to get all these shells softened with some oil. Um, I have cut my shrimp. Um, I didn't realize that they were like a peel and eat. And so I'm cutting them in half. I cut the bigger ones in half and I'm like, why are there legs on them? 
So after I cut like 10 and a half, I realized they weren't peeled. So, but that's okay because I want to cook it myself. I have my um, bowl of uh, frozen fruit and I cut some of the pineapple up a little small. I was just gonna use the mango. I think I'm gonna do it all. The mango, pineapple, and the papaya. Um, I cut my asparagus, my three bags of asparagus. Um, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's frozen. I guess I'm just not used to all of like their frozen veggies. And so I, I struggle a little bit because I do like to add like fresh components when I cook and stuff. But I want this to be strictly a Dollar Tree dinner. I want you to be able to go to Dollar Tree and everything is there. And maybe, you know, maybe one week it's a struggle week and you can't make dinner like you would normally do and, you know, big, big meals with everything. Maybe one week it's going to have to be where you only need to, you know, you can only spend $10. And so that's why I'm trying to get everything from the Dollar Tree and only use what I'm getting. Um, I grabbed up my cilantro leaves to sprinkle on top because I'm going to make them put them together and then bake them in the oven. I kind of got this idea because Izzy had made us uh, pork carnitas like a couple years ago and she put it all together, mixed all the fillings, filled the shells and then baked them and they were so yummy. And so I grabbed some coconut milk because I want to do a coconut mango rice. I don't, hopefully they'll like it. And then with this Jamaican jerk, I think I'm going to sprinkle it on before I bake them. Um, I opened up my two cans of black beans just to sprinkle on top. Um, add some garlic and then I'm pretty excited about this citrus garlic citrus seasoning. It's super cool. Let me see what it smells like. Oh, that one's not open. I got two of them because I wasn't sure. Let me see here. Ooh, not, that's actually really nice. Cumin, coriander, cayenne pepper, black pepper, paprika, turmeric, basil, paprika oil, lemon oil, garlic, salt, citric, citrus and onion and it says it has grits in here soy grits i don't know what soy grits are um so anyway i'm first thing up is we're going to get the shells prepared get all that done then i'm going to make the filling and then fill the shells put them into my cast iron baking pan bake them in the oven probably i don't know 375 maybe for 15 minutes um and then that's pretty much it i didn't grab anything for dessert this time just because um, there's just a lot going but on. But anyway, so I spent, um, I did put the mustard back, like I said, and I spent uh, $33. I did get the asparagus, so $35 or $36. Um, but, you know, I got two cans of beans. Um, these egg rolls are killing me, but I, I grabbed them because I know there's smaller shrimp in here with like cabbage stuff, and I wanted the veggies. So I'm just going to open these up, and I'm going to dump the insides with my shrimp and the asparagus and the seasoning. I might maybe put a little bit of the mango stuff into it too, and then add some to the rice too. So I'll kind of do like a, a double mango, whatever. And when we went to Hawaii, let me tell you, all the tacos, I got fish tacos the whole time I was in Hawaii. And on top of it is cabbage, shredded cabbage, mango salsa, and pickled radishes on or onions on all the tacos. And they were the, the corn tortillas. And so I was like, you know, I could probably do this. And so I was excited to get the shrimp. Now you can get bigger bags of shrimp at like Walmart. Um, but just for purposes of the Dollar Tree, uh, they were, I think $3 a bag and it had like 50 in there and I got two bags. Um, the pineapple also was $3. So that right there is like $9. Uh, but I had to get a lot, you know, just because we're a bigger family. And like that rice meal I made, gone. Joshi took it to lunch twice and gone. Like all that was left was a little bit of rice, which we then, some of it didn't have all the stuff on it. So we like put it into our red beans and rice. All right, well, let's get cooking. I'm anxious. I'm really anxious and excited about this. I'm learning. Every time I go there, I'm learning and I'm finding new things. Like the asparagus, there wasn't asparagus there last time, but they did have a ton of veggies, but the broccoli and, and, and cauliflower, I didn't feel like it went with the shrimp. So even though it was there and I loved it, I also love the other veggie mix that they had, really nice stuff, but I was really disappointed with the peppers. Maybe next time when I go in there, I'll have to snag myself some peppers. All right, let's get going on this dinner. I'm super excited. While my oil's getting hot, I wanted to cut one of these open just to kind of see, and you know what? I think I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna stick it in its own bowl though. All right, here we go. I think it's gonna be okay. It's just kind of like you can see like there's cabbage 
and carrots in here. And there is smaller shrimp. And that's what I thought would happen. I thought there'd be smaller shrimp. And so that's why I wanted to do like the bigger shrimp. I was really hoping, like I said at the store, that I would find um, like shrimp in a can. Because we actually use shrimp in a can to make dips. My dad used to make this wonderful dill dip. It was amazing. All right, so that's not going to be too bad. I think this is going to add. I was hoping it'd be more shredded. But it looks like it's more chopped. I don't know, maybe next time I'm gonna have to rethink this, but all right, let's get these shells going. So I don't want the shells to be completely like cooked and hard. I want them just to be soft because I'm gonna make them into tacos. And they are mini shells. It comes in 20 in a bag. When I did a haul with Izzy, um, she picked up some of these shells for herself because she's always, always making carnitas. There we go. And they're just, oh, oh. Oh, they're sticking on me. I probably shouldn't be using a cat, the stainless steel. There we go. There we go. All right. Okay, so you just want to cook them. You want them to brown a little bit on one side. I might have a little bit, but bit, 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 bit. Has there ever been a video that I can talk right? All right, so you're going to want to make sure that they are a little brown and cooked through. Some of these are sticking, I don't know what's going that on That stainless steel pan was not working for me. So this is gonna take a little more time, but at least they're not, uh, at least they're not sticking. All right. Little both sides. There we go. I um, actually made homemade flour tortillas a while ago. My family absolutely loved them. And I think I did it live with you guys. I'm pretty sure it was live. I'm gonna have to do those again. Um, I have everything I need because I'm gonna be making my own homemade um, egg, um, egg McMuffins so I can go back to my kids where I had made them breakfast for the week. So I'm also gonna be doing that. So I'm super excited about that. I got everything I need. Okay, so all the, after this, all that's left is to um, cook up the shrimp. I think I'm gonna rethink the whole egg roll thing. Um, I've tried it two weeks in a row and there just isn't like the veggies I want. So I'm gonna stick to those, the other veggies that I really liked. All right, so you're just gonna let these just kind of brown a little bit and then flip them over when they get cooking a little, a little more. There we go. Because yeah. we are gonna bake them again. So they don't have to be 100% crispy to start. Oh, I got two going there. And I think too, by not using the egg rolls next time, I'm going to be saving myself lots of money. All right, there we go, that's better. Yeah, these coated pans are way, way better than the stainless steel when it comes to this kind of stuff. But then my cast iron's great too, so it just depends on what you cook with different pans. There's some things that stainless steel is just, nope, nope, there's some with cast iron that, sh but you gotta be careful because like with cast iron, it heats up really fast and so, the great thing about using cast iron is that the pan stays hotter longer. So even when you turn the burner off, it's still cooking all your food. So you have to be very careful not to turn your heat up too high and not to overcook things because cast iron, you know, it's, it holds the heat. All right. Yeah, I used to be afraid of cast iron. I didn't use it forever. I had it, I was getting it as gifts. I seen my mom and my mother-in-law use a cast iron, but I just was afraid to use it. My dad used it. He made his wonderful, wonderful sausage gravy with the cast iron, but I was just afraid. <laughs> and I, I'm gonna see if I have some peppers in the freezer, because I had bought four bags, because I really do feel like I need the peppers. All right. I've already done one package. I kind of measured it out into my, um, my baking pan, and I think I'm gonna need the two so there'll be 40 total. Um, it's actually not going too bad. Haley's here chatting with me, so it makes my time go by a little faster. I did grab out the peppers because I just really feel like I need, and I did have one. I wasn't sure if I had one, but I had one left over from my last meal. I just feel like I need the veggies to fill these. Um, so I, uh, I am going to add the peppers that I had bought last week for my first Dollar Tree haul. And I probably should have stopped. Well, I guess I took all of them. There was four. I took four. I was going to say I should have stocked up on them, but I guess I kind of did stock up on them, didn't I? Okay. 
and these aren't going too bad. I'm just putting a little bit of my avocado oil in them, um, making them a little crispy on the edges. Then I'm going to put them into the pan, then fill them with the shrimp. And I'm going to use the pan that I started with, um, with the shells that were sticking. Um, I think I'll be okay with veggies with that one. So I'm just crisping up the sides. Um, I'm almost done. I got, a, I don't know, maybe about 12 left. Uh, it takes a lot of time. This is kind of like the time. Like I could have had all this done already. I should have done like two things at once, but it, sometimes when I do that, especially doing these shells, I forget about them and they get hard. So I don't want my shells to burn because that's kind of the star of the show. I mean, the shrimp is, but more of like these shells. And so I definitely don't want to burn these. All right. My husband's going to get Josh from work. This is his last day before he gets his little, it's his spring break. And um, so he's super excited. He's been asking me like every day. So is this the day we pack? Is this the day we pack? Is this the day we pack? And I said, this weekend, this weekend. And I told him he had to get like a nice little haircut and get all cleaned up. And so, yeah. So I'm going to trim him up a little bit so he looks good for all the farmers. And um, he's very, very, very excited. All right, I'll finish these up and then on to the shrimp mango veggie filling. And I'm not gonna cook the beans. I'm just gonna sprinkle the beans on top and then a little bit of cilantro. I'm gonna use the seasoning with the, um, I might put that citrus seasoning in with the top, in with the shrimp and in with the rice too. I'm anxious to see if this rice is gonna work. I think it's gonna be kind of cool. We'll see though, but yeah, it's coming along very nicely. And we did get snow today, but then it warmed up to 30s. And um, now the snow is gone that we got yesterday. It's very weird. You know, we're into almost what the middle of November or February. And now it's going to want to snow and get colder. And I'm thinking, why? Don't bother. We're almost in the spring. We don't need that. Oh, it's been a very, very nice winter, but very odd winter. Um, never have we had to, been able to play basketball in February. We literally have the basketball court all cleaned up and the kids have been playing basketball for like a week. Usually it's an ice rink until, I don't know, what do you think, Haley, March? Ice rink until March? Yeah. Um, February is usually our coldest month where it's in the negatives and so we're always out. My husband put a little, um, like a fire pit out there. So me and Haley, we sit in front of the fire pit, drink coffee and watch the boys play hockey. All right, I'm gonna keep doing this and then uh, on to the good stuff. It's so hard. Can we skip to the good part? Okay, so I got the shells done. These, the shrimp and stuff is gonna cook really, really fast. So let's add it all in. So I oil my pan. The shrimp and the asparagus. Pretty excited about this asparagus. And they're not super mushy at all, so that's good. All right, and then this is the innards of my egg rolls, and I'm not gonna be doing this anymore. There is little pieces of shrimp in it though, like I had thought, so that's good. Whew. And then I'm gonna add my frozen peppers, which I'm super excited about. And I'm gonna add some of this fruit, not all of it, because I want to put some of it in my rice. Okay. And then my citrus seasoning. Probably about two tablespoons. Garlic. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we're gonna just get this frying. Get that shrimp cooked, get the veggies looking nice. Get these little innards going. Ah. I'm gonna save the coconut milk for the rice. Right, so while this is cooking, um, I'm gonna line up all of my shells. So when it's done, I can fill them. Let's put some over here. Just get them ready to go. I put a napkin down so it can kind of like drain, you know, drain off the excess oil in them. All right, there we go. 
All right, it's looking good. Now, because you have all these frozen veggies, you might have to drain some of the juices out. Um, I did drain a little bit of the juices out, and then I'm just gonna let these cook in and then kind of evaporate in the frying pan. But it looks good. I tried like a little piece of the shrimp. It's pretty good, actually. Now I'm kind of second my guess my second my guess my. I'm second my guess my. I am second guessing adding the peppers. I should have just stuck with the shrimp and the asparagus um, and the mango, whatever. It's okay. So just keep cooking this probably for about 15 minutes just to get all the moisture out of it. And then we're gonna fill the tacos. Um, preheat your oven to, I'm gonna say like 375. And then we're gonna add everything to that, top it off with some cilantro, and then bake it for maybe about 15 minutes. All right, looks good. And there is little tiny shrimp in the egg rolls now that everything's cooked in. Um, they're just like little babies, but they're in there. Okay, okay, let's start filling these. All right, there we go. Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put black beans in them too, so I don't wanna fill them up too much, but I do wanna make sure that there is some shrimp in each one of them. All right, the first one's probably gonna be a struggle. Make sure I got some veggies in here. Here we go. Oh yeah, this looks good. The, the asparagus kinda looks like green beans to me. Mm. There we go. I thought, oh, there we go. I thought I was prepared. Maybe I'm not. Oh, and this looks. Okay. I want to make sure you get shrimp in every one here. So then I'll sprinkle it with black beans after this. I just really would love a fresh component. I wish Dollar Tree had fresh veggies. And so I did do the pineapple and the mango in it also. I thought for sure it was, I was like, man, there's a tomato. It's not a tomato, it's a, it's a papaya. I might have to challenge myself to make, ooh, dripping, to make a dessert. Ooh, that's really hot. Okay. So this, this recipe is a little time consuming just because you make every single shell but I don't know. I think it's gonna be good. I can't wait for my husband to try it. He's like the real deal. He'll tell me straight up if I did okay or not. I keep dropping that stinking spoon into my, but I wanna make sure there's veggies in each one too. There we go. Okay. I forgot to um, turn my stove on, so I'm gonna have to do that really fast. Got her going now. I'm gonna, I shouldn't have done this. So you don't have to do this, you guys. I thought, man, I'm gonna get ahead of the game. Yeah, well, it didn't work. Yeah, I was just talking to Haley. Um, I sent my son's Valentine present to him at school. And, um, you know, I do all the office stuff for our masonry and our farm. And I thought, well, I'll get some stamps because, you know, I, I'm sending out taxes and stuff. And so I got a book of stamps, two book of stamps, and um, it came to $15. And I said, oh, well, how many stamps are in there? She says 20. I said, so what are stamps lately? Cause I usually use bill pay. I don't usually use stamps. And um, she, she didn't say anything. And I'm like, oh, so I thought maybe she was looking it up and she wasn't. And I was like, huh, well maybe I'll look it up. So I looked it up and um, 75 cents, 75 cents. Stamps are 75 cents right now. And so I told Haley, and now she's in panic mode because <laughs> she, I wonder if I could get them sideways here. Nope. She uh, has to mail out wedding invitations. And so now she's like figured out like, what did you say? Like if you had 300 people, it would be $225 in stamps. Her invitations don't even cost that much. Isn't that what you figured out? Yeah. Yeah. $225 to send out invitations for her wedding 
and her invitations don't even cost that. And I asked the lady, I said, so what do you think? Like, how high do you think they're going to go before they just stop making stamps? And she's like, oh, I don't know. It's kind of crazy. All right, there we go. And you do want to kind of tight in here because you we're going to bake them. And then they'll, they'll be fine. You'll be able to pull them out. All right. And this will also help dry up some of the moisture in the dish too. Okay. I think I'm going to do it perfect. I think I end up making like 30 tacos. I might be able to put a little bit more filling in some of these too. I just want to be really reserved to start. And then if I had extra, I'll just add them too. I'm excited. I hope these are good, but Haley doesn't like seafood, so she's not going to be able to try one. <laughs> she, her and Robert aren't my seafood kids. Now, Robert, though, will eat salmon. He'll eat white fish. He'll eat some stuff, but um, he won't eat shrimp, though. It's not going to happen. All right, let's get this in here. There we go. I got a little hole here. They're not going to work. It's not going to work up as much as I'd like it to, but... Yeah, so I, I I struggle with the stamp thing probably just as much as she is. And my husband's like, I get it, Heather. I'm like, I know, but honey, 75 cents a stamp. He's like, yeah. I'm like, that's so, I said, the last time I got stamps, because I asked him, I walked in the truck and I go, hey, because me and him had a little shopping day today. And I said, um, so I just bought stamps. Guess how much they are? He goes, 50 cents. And I was like, nope. He goes, more than 50 cents? I said, yep. He's like, how much? So 75, he's like, holy cow. I'm like, yeah, I know, I know. These are gonna be in a little tight here. One more, one more. Oh goodness, I just lost a precious piece of shrimp. <laughs> All right, we're gonna stick this in. I am gonna put this in here, I don't really care. Let me just shove it. Okay, now let me get the beans out. I might, I'm gonna rearrange this a little bit because it is a little tight. And I want to be able to for them to expand a little bit. So let me grab another pan to give these things some air. Now I'm going to add some black beans to each one. I don't know if I'm going to need both cans, but we are doing some Mexican stuff for the Super Bowl. So if I don't use this up, I definitely can use it in there. I love black beans. Love, love, love. I try to drain these and there ain't juices in these. So by putting them in the oven, it's gonna crisp them up a little bit more. Um, as I'm sticking them in the shells, the filling, um, it the it was thickening even more. So they're like the liquid and stuff was gone. All right. Okay. Now let's do this. One. Oh, maybe I will use both cans. Any chance I get to use black beans, I don't. Okay, so it does look like I might use up one and a half cans here. I'm almost to the down to the bottom of this one. And you know the other thing too is I really like to cook with cheese. And I haven't, these last two meals, I haven't had any cheese. And like, I don't even think I've had dairy either. Weird. Because those are like my go-tos, you know, dairy and cheese. Yeah, Haley's still upset about the 75 cents. All right. And I did spread out another one because I felt like these were kind of crammed a little bit. And I want to be able to grab them out. Um, I was hoping they had like a queso cheese there, but they don't. Like a queso fresco, but they don't. And I thought, well, I got some in the fridge, but Heather, stick to it. Stick to the Dollar Tree. I don't know, maybe doing videos like this, because I, I got a couple people messaging me telling me that there are some people that that's all they do is they share with you different things at Dollar Tree. You know, maybe if Dollar Tree starts to see that, that people are really are invested in, um, you know, to go into Dollar Tree, maybe they'll start, you know, expanding and you know what too though they never used to have freezer foods and they do so they've already expanded to what they had before okay so now we're going to sprinkle it with cilantro i'm going to sprinkle every single one get a little bit of cilantro in there i was going to put the jamaican jerk on but i don't know how hot it is 
So I'm gonna let people put that their own on. So once these are baking, we're then gonna get the rice going. All right, cool. Put this in the oven. All right, now it's time to get this rice going while the tacos are cooking. All right, I got the lid off the rice. I'm just gonna break it up a little bit. I really like jasmine rice. We've been eating lots of rice lately. I hope it's good for you. Okay. All right. All right, so I'm gonna start this burner here. We're gonna turn it on like kind of low. There we go. That's like a double burner. So if you have something you don't want it to scold, you can just turn it down and it's just the middle. Okay. All right, I got that broke up. So now we're gonna add the rest of my fruit here, the mango, pineapple, and uh, papaya. There we go. And now I'm gonna also add some of this coconut milk. There we go. And some of this uh, citric garlic, citrus garlic seasoning. We're gonna stir this up and create a new rice. Want me to show them how to make a quesadilla? <laughs> you guys want me to show you how to make a quesadilla? You might like this rice. No, that rice is good. I should taste that Jamaican jerk and see how spicy it is. Maybe it would be good in here. All right, I'm just gonna let this simmer for a little bit because we want it to heat back. Through. I'm just gonna try this. Let's see if it's hot. do this okay all right <laughs> um it's made in Jamaica <laughs> it is uh it's actually made in Jamaica really yeah mm -hmm. uh, it's a little spicy <laughs> so I'm kind of thinking that we might want to keep that off I have some people that aren't into spice Plus, I added my citrus garlic sp um, spice. Whew. I just, mm, yeah. Wow, kind of crazy. I'm going to add a little bit more of my coconut milk to get to the bottom. Coconut milk's good for you. All right. I feel like I'm making like a dessert. This is like a dessert rice. There we go. I did make a dessert. Right here. Mango, pineapple, papaya. Coconut rice. All right. I hope this goes well. I hope this goes well. My husband will tell me. I don't know. Everybody else liked the one from last week. Did you try the one last week? Oh, you weren't here for it. Mm -mm. I thought it was really good. Did you have leftovers? No. Oh, I thought it was really good. Of rice? The um, the egg roll uh, stir fry I made. Oh, I didn't have that. Did you like it? Yeah, I had it for lunch one day. Yeah, I thought it was good. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get a spoon. We're gonna try this too. Here we go. <laughs> they say that if you are a chef or you cook, you're always supposed to try your food. Sorry about that. That's my husband's work line. Hold on a second. So the, um, she's making avocado toast because she doesn't like shrimp. Her. She wants to show you guys how to make avocado toast. So I have my rice here. I'm just gonna plate myself a little bit of food. I'm gonna take a taco out of here. They look absolutely amazing. Okay, let's look at, show you guys up close here. Yummy, okay. I'm gonna try it. Why do you have a tiny bit of rice? Well, cause I just wanna try it. Oh. Should I put rice on it? I could. I can put hey, you don't have to put rice on it. Well, no, you're staring at me like I need to do something. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try it. It's actually pretty good. It's really good, but um, it does need sour cream. Maybe some of that queso cheese on top. Um, but I don't think they have the queso fresco cheese, so I would suggest maybe getting some um, 
some like Colby shredded cheese put on top of it if they have sour cream, but they're, they're not bad. It needs salt. So when you make these, make sure you add salt. And um, I don't think it needs pepper, but it does need salt. It's pretty good though. The rice though is really yummy. I really like the rice a lot. It needs salt too. But I, the mango in it is pretty yummy. I think Izzy's really gonna like this. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me on my second Dollar Tree dinner where I made baked shrimp tacos with a mango, garlic, salt, uh, rice. I don't really, I'm gonna have to think of the name before. I'm gonna have to think of a better name than that, but they did really good, really impressed. So I'm gonna grab some sour cream though and a little bit of salsa and put on it. So can you like, can you add sour cream and stuff on it even though it's not in there? <laughs> if you have it in your fridge already, does that count? Um, but they're pretty good. I would definitely add some salt, maybe like a garlic pepper salt that they sell at Dollar Tree. Um, I want to do like a chipotle drizzle, but they had no chipotle stuff. Uh, but they're not bad. They're pretty good actually. And you know what? They don't taste super shrimpy. No. You could probably try one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe and like to Just the Bells 10. I'm getting better at this. I am going to figure this out. I am not going to quit. I am not going to quit. All right. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful afternoon. And Haley's going to the chapel and she's going to get married. She loves David and they're going to get married. She's over here. Okay. Yeah. I had to get back on here really fast and tell you that I just added a little bit of, I think they actually sell this at Dollar Tree. I added a little bit of the sauce and um, completely changed it. So the sauce, and I don't know, maybe putting this, what, crazy fly, maybe putting this, sprinkle this on, but it's really kind of spicy. But look for this, cause I know that it smell, <clears throat> excuse me. I know they sell smaller ones and this made it completely different. Super yummy. And if they have sour cream, grab sour cream. You could do cheese though. If they have cheese, do cheese. So I just had to get back on and tell you that I added the si spice, the sp <laughs> I added this, this, whatever, whatever. I added and it, it really, really helped them quite a bit. Add a little bit more flavor to them. So my suggestions are if there's a hot sauce, get it, sprinkle it on when you're baking them, salt, pepper, they have a garlic pepper seasoning in, in there. I used last week, amazing. Put that on it. The rice is perfect. I like the rice completely. I might even try some adding the hot sauce on it, but um, I'm very happy though. They're pretty good. I enjoy them. I think my family's gonna like them. They do look kind of crazy, but they're good. They're really good.